We are here with letter J. Junk, journal, jewelry, <laughs> jingle jangle. It's a mouthful. We need to make one. We're going to use broken jewelry or beads to make a dangle at least three inches long. And it needs to have two strands. Stay tuned for details and tutorial. Hi everybody, it's Julie. I'm here with our final element, our letter J. We are making junk journal jewelry jingle jangle. How's that for a tongue twister? We need to make one. Use broken jewelry or beads to make a dangle at least three inches longs, uh, longs? long and two strands. So I picked out some of the jewelry closest to my myself here. I have some of the some um, paper uh, book paper things. I have foil confetti that says 2020. I just picked this up at Dollar General when I went and got my essentials and um, I highly recommend that you get your 2020 like, to use the year. Sorry. Um, so another thing is, you know, 2020, you got 2020 vision and all of that. So 2020 is something that can be used for other things too. So we are going to make our jingle jangle and some charms. Um, because I haven't made any charms for this journal yet. Um, I'm going to show you. We're going to do that. But first I wanted to show you. If you remember, I'm making five pansy um, uh, list journals. And I came across one of my mom's. This was broken in her jewelry box. And it was uh, for holding glasses. And it happened to have five of these little um, charm sets right there. And so I thought I would go ahead and use those and make a charm for each of the journals. So I'm going to start with that. And I'm just going to go ahead and break that off. And um, I also, I want to use this for my actual dangle. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this. And this is a chain. Um, it's charms but um, you can use broken jewelry would even be better but I have this and I need to use these charms so then I'm going to end up with the um, <laughs> going to end up with the chain left over okay so that was believe and that was the one I wanted now I gotta find the it worked so good when I wasn't on camera. I was able to keep the little charm on the little thing and just put it straight onto the <laughs> little tangle. But no. Okay, so I'm going to look at this and I'm going to go ahead and turn it this way. And I'm going to put this down on the piece that I consider, I'm going to consider the bottom. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead, put this little charm on here. And I'm using the chain and everything, not just the, not just the little charm piece, but the whole piece from my mom's broken uh, glasses holder. Okay, so there is that, and then I'm just gonna take and put it on a bulb clip. And with that, I have five of those ready for my um, the little pansy uh, list journals that I'm making. So you see, they're all it's very similar. The only thing different is the size of the chain. Some of them have butterflies and some of them, some of them have flowers. So that is that. Those were made using that broken chain. Um, okay, so we'll move on to our jingle, our jingle jangle. And I'm going to use this this chain here and we have the two charms on here that say family and faith and I'm going to take those off so I'm going to use I'm gonna use the chain oh wrong wrong piece okay 
So, and literally for this, you can just take a necklace and take it apart and make your, um, make your jingle jangle just that simple. If you have a, a necklace that you're able to take apart, um, go for it. Okay. I'm giving you permission this time. You need to have two, uh, it needs to be three inches long, and you need to have two, um, sorry, I'm trying to see. <laughs> you need to have two uh, strands, okay? So not just one strand, you need at least two, you can have more. Okay, so there, we're just going to take that chain off. And close this back up. And we'll save those. Okay, so the next thing I wanted to do was I wanted to use a different colored paper clip. So I have these that were Happy Mail. And um, you could also use a safety pin for this, for what I'm going to do next. But I'm going to make a little charm. And remember, I'm just trying to give you other ideas. I mean, I could just go ahead and put this together. But I'm going to try and give you some ideas, things that you might have hanging around your house that you can go ahead and use to make your charms. So you remember from the... Um, I just did a book page one of these. So I've chosen a, a paper clip that has different color and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna glue it onto this paper clip in the middle of the paper clip. Now if you know what you're gonna put on your paper clip, you can do that first and I know that I want to put this blue charm Actually, let's just go ahead. We'll put the purple charm because that's already ready. So you can go ahead and it's probably easier to go ahead and string your charm um, beforehand. So this is one of the uh, charm pieces that I, I made before and it was in the little thing. And I'm going to show you how to make one, but we're going to go ahead and use this one. And we'll just go ahead and add it onto our paper clip before we before we seal the paper clip okay so then this is going to go on here sort of <laughs> and we're going to wrap our paper clip okay and this is going to get give us just a really cool bead and now remember we've been using this crossword puzzle all through this journal so for this journal, this is a really great little addition to our jingle jangle. So there's our our jingle. <laughs> and um, we'll let that dry. Okay, and now for our jangle, we have, you remember we made some book beads. I'm going to use this one, I think. So we have our book beads. Um, we might have made this in the the Just Junk Journal Challenge. So another thing is if you have like any beach glass, um, adding a beach glass is kind of fun. And so we're going to go ahead. And I've done this before. Um, if I can find the video, I will uh, put it in the description box down below so you can see that I've done this before. <laughs> um, I'm going to start, I'm going to make my uh, my hook. Okay, so this is going to be my hook right there. I've got my my top hook for my, um, my bead and then I'm going to come down here and I'm going to make a bottom one. Okay, so I've just made a little loop. I've got that and I'm going to cut that off. Okay. So I have my loop here 
I have a loop down here and now I can go ahead and I think I want the pointy edge down at the bottom. I can go ahead and put this onto my piece of glass and it's connected. Yay! I'm going to put it on like this and then I'm going to come down and I'm going to um, secure it by twisting it. Okay, and now I'm going to go ahead and we're going to come up and around and I'm going to go through the top. with my extra one. Now I'm going to hold my my loop de loo and then I'm going to come down and I I went a little too that's okay. I'll just Okay. And then we're going to take this one and go around. Let's go up the other side up and around and down. Okay, and if you can get it through, that's the ideal. I'm using a wreath wire. I seem to use that before. So there I have a bead made out of glass that I can add to my dangle um, and I think this time I want to have one of the purple beads up here okay so now we're gonna go ahead and add okay so I have over here I already started a bead wire and again, I'm using this, and if I had thicker wire at, at, you know, that was stronger than that, right now I would probably use that, but I don't. So, I don't see the actual, the regular end. I know I have the wrong end right there because it's underneath things. There it is. So I'll put this one back. The regular one won't um, be underneath. Okay, so here we're going to go ahead and take the end. I'm going to make my loop about the, just almost the center of my round nose pliers. And I'm going to go round and round and make my end. Okay. Then I can go ahead and I can start grabbing some of the beads that I want to use. And there's some little glass blue beads in here that are really pretty and this is what I had left from the spring blossom uh, series so if you're looking for a start to done series you're enjoying the one that we're doing right now and you want more the spring blossom series has 36 videos and I made so many things like embellishments we made three journals in there okay so I have this bead and then the glass bead and then I have some of these silver I think we'll go with this this silver bead okay so there's this silver bead and then we're gonna add a gold bead I do like to mix my metals so there's that, and then back down to a little blue glass bead. So I can't believe that it's, I'm finally at the, the end of making my, my thing, my items for the a to Z junk journal challenge for April. Um, this is the last element that I needed to make. Well, that's kind of big, but that's okay. We'll, we'll go with it. Okay, so we'll go ahead and crimp that. So that gives me a 
section of beads there. And I want to add this purple. So this purple has a good size ring. I think we can use this ring, ouch, it's on my fingernail, to catch um, all of it. So we'll use the purple. It's gonna catch this. And is that three inches long? One, two, three. Okay. So that catches all those. So now we need something to go in between those two. And I'm going to put the bulb pin. You know, I have a decorated bulb pin also. Um, but I'm just going to use a regular one up here. You know what? Maybe we can just add these dangle on here on the bulb pins. And these hang straight. Right there. And then the blue just kind of sits on the pin. So there's like a decorated bulb pin taking advantage of the fact that um, those things won't move. So if I go ahead, pull these off, come down here to my, my ring, and then I can go ahead and decorate the bulb pin. So the same thing that I did with the paper clip, you could do with the safety pin also. So if you don't have a paper clip, you can do it with that. Okay, so I'm thinking I want to put something in here and then another one of the purple down at the bottom. So let's go ahead and put this down here. I was going to use the book page, but it'll be right next to the crossword. So, so I mean, what I'm showing you here is, yes, you can have your, your dangle can be longer. Okay, so we have, let's see, we could just put a bulb pin in the middle there, you guys. You can do that. And um, especially in, in a challenge like this where you get to take your, stuff apart and put it somewhere else after and this would give me okay so you can you can do that and I was gonna do this at one point too add this pretty pretty charm here I got this um, at Michael's Okay, so we can add it up here as a third dangle. We can add it here. If we add it here, it can be our connector piece too. So I think that's what we're going to do. Go ahead and open. Open says me. And add our glass. Add our dangle. Close it up, close it up, <laughs> did you see that coming? I saw that coming in slow motion. There we go, there we go, okay. Okay, so there is my jingle jangle, jingle jangle, for my, um, the pansy journal that I've been making for the A to Z junk journal challenge. And then we can also 
go ahead and like I showed you we we have this little charm is ready um, let's go ahead and you know what let's go ahead and make the well, I was gonna there it is safety pin and what I'm gonna do is go ahead and add my 2020 see how do I want to add it if I go like that there we go just add it on there if you've got a graduate this might be kind of fun to have especially um, if you're making them a scrapbook or a journal or something for graduation um, or just if you are documenting your year uh, planner there we go so we'll just put that on there we've got 2020 on there and we did that one simple and Let's go ahead and make one more of these. Crossword puzzle paper clip charms. Okay, so there's that down there. I sure have been enjoying using the crossword puzzle in this journal. If you have been following along and you're doing that too, I'd love to hear about, um, or if you used another game book, what did you use and um, what did you think? Okay, I'm going to go ahead and go with this one. I'm going to do it backwards though. Okay, pick it up. And you can do this with book pages. That's how, or even I've stamped um, words on the very end, the last part that you can see. And I've done that. Um, I did that in a Stamp Away Saturday video. So, but these are lots of fun. I, I think these are lots of fun. And then you can just go ahead and attach this to your bulb pin with or without decoration. And that can be another little charm on your journal. So this is just some other types of charms that you could um, add to your journal. Uh, of course, you can take and have just the paper clip with the purple. Okay. But that gives you a way to add some of the, the fun, um, fun items to your journal. So this really was all about the jingle jangle. And so, J for Jingle Jangle. There you go. That's our Jingle Jangle. It is longer than three inches. And we used broken jewelry. What else are we supposed to do? Let's see. <laughs> Junk journal jewelry, Jingle Jangle. One of them. Broken jewelry or beads to make a dangle at least three inches long and two strands. We did that. I also made several charms just so that you um, could have some more ideas of things to do while we're at home. If you are here for the premiere, I want to thank you for being here. Thank you for staying. Um, I will see you later. 
at the live event at 3.35. I hope you enjoyed this video and that you are having an amazing day. Find something to celebrate. Don't forget to subscribe. Have a great day. Bye. Bye-bye.